Here are my top tips on how to select the right blood pressure cuff and how to wear it correctly. Using the right blood pressure cuff is essential for ensuring accurate readings, which are critical for monitoring and managing your health effectively. When the cuff size is too small, it can result in artificially high readings. Studies have shown that using a blood pressure cuff that is too small can actually overestimate your systolic blood pressure between 5 to 20 millimeters of mercury. This can lead to falsely identifying hypertension, which can result in unnecessary treatment. A cuff that's too large, on the other hand, may give readings that are lower than your actual blood pressure, leading to missed opportunity to address hypertension. Moreover, the correct cuff size ensures comfort during the measurement process, avoiding any discomfort from a cuff that is either too tight or too loose, which can also interfere with proper inflation and the accuracy of the reading. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to choose the correct blood pressure cuff size and how to wear it properly to ensure accurate readings. Step one, measure your arm circumference. To select the right cuff size, you first need to measure the circumference of your upper arm. Use a flexible measuring tape and wrap it around the midpoint between your shoulder and elbow. Make sure the tape is snug, but not too tight. This measurement will help you determine the right cuff size according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Step two, check cuff sizing charts. Most blood pressure monitors provide sizing charts or guidelines. Compare your arm circumference to the cuff size recommendations, which are typically categorized into small, medium, large, and extra large. The bladder inside the cuff, the inflatable part, should ideally cover 80% of the circumference of your arm for an accurate reading. Step three, ensure the cuff fits snugly. Once, once you have the right cuff, it's important that it fits snugly on your upper arm without being too tight or too loose. The cuff should be able to wrap around your arm without pinching, and you should be able to fit one finger under the cuff easily. A cuff that's too tight can give an inaccurate high reading, while a loose cuff can lead to a low reading. Before we move to the next tip, show us some love by liking this video, leave us a comment, or simply subscribe to our channel for more. Step four, position the cuff correctly. Place the cuff on your bare arm, not over clothing. The lower edge of the cuff should be about one inch, two to three centimeter, above the bend of your elbow. Ensure that the cuff's tubing runs down the middle of your inner arm and is aligned with the brachial artery, which is located slightly above the bend of your elbow. Step five, sit in the right position for measurement. For accurate readings, sit upright in a chair with your back supported and both feet flat on the ground. Your arm should rest on a flat surface such as a table at heart level. Keep your arm relaxed and avoid talking during the measurement as movement or conversation can interfere with the reading. By following these steps, you'll ensure you select the right blood pressure cuff size and wear it correctly, which will help you get consistent, accurate readings to monitor your health. A pro tip about blood pressure monitors, make sure your monitor is clinically validated for accuracy and is on the validated device list by the American Medical Association, Hypertension Canada, or the British and Irish Society of Hypertension, kindly share the brand of blood pressure monitor you are currently using in the comments section. Let's discuss how you can tell if your blood pressure monitor is accurate. First, it's important to regularly compare the results from your home monitor with those taken by a healthcare professional. When visiting a doctor's office, bring your monitor and take a reading using both your device and the clinic's professional equipment. If the results are similar, you can be confident that your device is reasonably accurate. A difference of a few points is normal, but large discrepancies might indicate an issue with your monitor. Furthermore, regularly calibrating your monitor is crucial. Some monitors require periodic recalibration, typically every one to two years, depending on the manufacturer's recommendation. This ensures that the internal mechanisms are functioning properly. Contact the manufacturer or check the manual for instructions on recalibration or servicing. Lastly, 
take multiple readings each time you measure your blood pressure. Blood pressure can fluctuate naturally, so taking two or three readings in a row with a brief rest between them will give you a more accurate average reading. By following these steps, you can ensure that your blood pressure monitor is providing accurate and reliable results for managing your health. Check out this next video on the right way to check blood pressure at home. Yes.